Three stunning testimonies have raised big questions in the rape and murder case of a minor in West Bengal's Navia. In the latest, the woman who allegedly threatened the family of the victim has been tracked down. A panchayat has admitted the crem crematorium where the girl was cremated was running illegally. After Karnataka Minister Shwarappa has announced to resign, the opposition has announced to continue with its agitation until the minister is arrested by the police. The Karnataka Congress claims the resignation of Ishwarappa was not enough. They want justice for the family of the deceased contractor. After demolishing houses of the alleged rioters involved in the violence in MPs Khargon, bulldozers crushed shops of the alleged rioters in Gujarat's Khambap. The police raised the shops, labelling them as illegal establishments and said criminal activities are being carried out from the area. Delhi is seeing an increase in COVID cases, 325 cases in just 24 hours, the highest case load in the last 40 days. The DDMA is all set to hold a crucial meeting on the 20th of April to discuss the surge. The positivity rate has crossed the 2.39% mark. Chief Minister Arvind K. Jival has asked citizens not to panic.